everyone, it's Eisman here. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. So uh, we are Friday, <laughs> October uh, 18th, and this weekend is the 24 hours of cross stitch. Um, and I did my first project. <laughs> I stitched like four hours super early this morning, but forgot to film it. <laughs> so there's no footage of that. Um, but I am moving on to my second project and then I remembered I wanted to film this uh, marathon. So uh, yeah, now the camera's on. Uh, basically I am choosing projects out of a mug and I am working on them for four hours. I do have a little ticket in here that allows me to uh, do a new start if I wish. Um, which I'm limiting myself to three new starts. So I'll get more into that if I actually draw that. Um, and then I do have a little ticket in here for continue on current project, um, which of course, if I draw it, then I'll just for one turn continue on with the project I've already been working on. And for each project, I uh, plan to work for four hours. So this next one here is, I don't know if I have a picture of it actually in here. One second. Oh, I do. Nope. I don't. Okay, I don't have a picture of this one anymore. Um, but it is a fairy holding a flute, and that is where it is right now. I started in the center of the fabric for this one, so um, this is actually part of her shawl, and then I'm working out from there. So for the next four hours, I will be working on this one and I will be back with an update for you guys in the next clip. Okay, update time. Uh, we're about quarter to four in the afternoon here on uh, Friday and I am eight hours into 24 um, of actual stitching time because I've taken, you know, meal breaks and that. Um, and here is where I ended up. I did have to turn my stitching light on, so hopefully you can, I don't think, maybe better without. Yeah, better without. Okay, so there's where we ended up with that one. Um, and I did find a, a photo on my computer for this, so I will post it on the screen of what she'll look like when done. Hopefully, <laughs> it is now time to choose uh, the next project. So I'm just gonna give this a shake up. And it is the Heart of Canada. This is a Malcolm Watson design, I believe, by Heaven and Earth Designs. Uh, I will um, post a color picture up <laughs> because I've only got a black and white printout. Um, and I will go grab the project and be right. All right. So here is the black and white, uh, version of this photo that I have printed out photo project <laughs> that I have printed out. Um, I only have a black and white printer. So this is like the sheet I shove in the bag with the threads and everything. So I remember what project it is. But like I said, I will put a, a color picture of this up on uh, on the screen in editing. And where is my start point? There it is. And here we go. So this is on 25 count. It is half stitch. So four hours on this, I should get a good chunk <laughs> done in there. Not that I didn't get a good chunk done on the last project, but yeah, so that is where I am starting. It's uh, in the upper corner and these are, like I said, in half stitches um, and on 25 count using two strands. So that is going to be for the next few hours here. Um, I will be taking a break for dinner probably in a hour or so and then I will get back to stitching and I will see you guys in the next clip which will be when I have four hours stitched on The Heart of Canada by Malcolm Watson. Okay so 
we are halfway through the 24 hours of cross stitch. I've just hit the 12 hour mark and it is, oh, what is it? Like 8.30, I believe, yeah, 8.30, 8.30 at night. Um, so it's early enough in the evening. I probably have enough for one more project or at least a couple more hours. Um, so this is where I got to in the heart of Canada. Uh, so I basically am still working through pale yellow and I'm working my way down the border because most of it is in uh, the outer border and then in the very center. And now it is time to draw the next one. And this one is, ooh, Simple Treasures. This is a Dimensions kit, so I will actually have to go get that one out of the bag. Um, I will be right back. Okay, so here is what it will look like when completed. Uh, and here is where I am starting for it, which hopefully is clear on camera or close enough. <laughs> this this living room is a very dark living room. There's like no lighting in it. So now that the daylight's gone, I'm having to trust my lamp and hopefully it's clear. Um, but yeah, so that is going to be my project for the next four hours. Um, I don't know if I'll do all four before I go to bed or if I'll only get two in, but I'm just going to play that by ear, see how tired I get. Right now, I am going to go get myself something to eat, get myself a tea, and let my dogs out. And then I'm going to sit down and start stitching. And the next clip uh, will be an update of where I got to. So I will see you guys then. Bye. Hey, everyone. It's Iceland here. And this is going to be kind of my daily update because I totally forgot to film earlier, <laughs> but I am stopping for dinner now. So I thought I would show you where I got to with um, Simple Treasures and show you what I've been stitching on now and then choose my next project before I go sit down and have some dinner. So here is where Simple Treasures ended up. Uh, all this lovely pale yellow, <laughs> not all of it, but probably 90% of it is what I got in today. Overall, I'm really happy with how that um, worked out just because I do tend to work a little slower on paper patterns than I do on digital. And I got four hours in on that one and I am three hours into uh, this lovely uh, pattern, which is a uh, Tears of the Kingdom uh, artwork. And that is where I am so far. So I do have another hour left on that before I uh, start the next one. But while I have paused, I am going to draw my next project and then um, I'm gonna go have some dinner and then my next clip will be like the completed, complete, yeah. Anyway, Ugh. mug time. And I don't wanna, Look at this too much. Oh, another stamped kit. This is a stamped kit of Ariel. I will go grab her and I will be back to show you where I will be starting off with her when I get to her. Okay, one final update because I'm exhausted and I really just want to go to bed now. But that is 24 out of 24 hours uh, completed for the 24 hours of cross stitch weekend. And that is where we got, or I got, <laughs> in the final project. Um, I might stitch more this weekend because we are only Saturday. Um, but I'm certainly not going to be filming it. Because <laughs> if I do, it'll be just a casual stitch. So, uh, yeah, challenge done. I'm going to bed. <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next video.